Hello guys, Minolton Plays here, and welcome back, or welcome to my channel. Okay, so I hope everyone is doing alright today. If you are not, then I hope tomorrow will be better for you. So, this is going to be a part three, ser well, three part series, um, that's what I can think of right now. <laughs> so this video will be on how to install Reshade and how to uninstall it. Part two will be how to install presets and then for part three it will be how to take screenshots with Reshade. So of course this is going to be how to basically install Reshade for The Sims 4 um, and of course I will link all of this in the description for you guys um, so you know, so you don't have to try and find the website yourself. Um, so you just go into my description and the links will be there. And all you have to do is, of course, click on them. <laughs> so basically, this will be the first page to come up. You press download and then it takes you down to here. And the um, latest version is... Um, well, the latest version was released on the 22nd of November 2018. Um, so basically, you press download, wait for it to download, there we go. Um, and then once it's downloaded, you click on it, and then this will come up. So welcome, select game to install to or uninstall from. So basically, what you do is click on this, and then you basically need to find um, your Sims 4 game. So if you've... In, well, I mean, for me, I've got my Origin games installed onto my SSD drive, and some of you may have may have it installed on your um, HDD drive. Um, so basically, what you do is select which drive you've got your Origin games installed to. So mine is on my SSD, which I've already said. So I click on SSD, then I do Program Files x86. Double click that. There we go. Um, so once you're in here, you will go down to Origin Games, The Sims 4, Game, Bin, and then if your um, computer slash laptop is a 32-bit version, then you will want to go with this one. But if your computer slash laptop is a 64-bit, mine uh, my computer is 64-bit, um, then you select this one um, and you press open. There we go. So it says select the rendering API that the game uses. So you select Direct Free um, 3D9, press that, and of course I already have it installed, but I'm just going to, you know, show you. So I'm going to override that. So it says, do you wish to download a collection of standard effects from blah blah blah. So you press yes, wait for this to download, and then this will pop up. And basically all you need to do is press OK. Um, and there we go, so Reshade has now been installed for The Sims 4. Okay um, guys, so basically when you open your Sims 4 game, um, there will be a bar at the top saying it's um, it's kind of, well, it basically it's loading the effects and all that type of stuff. So once that's done, once you get to the home screen, you basically press Shift F2 and then this will come up. If it does not, then... Um, you will have to, of course, retry the steps that I've just previously said to you guys. So how um, you uninstall Reshade um, is to, of course, go to your Sims 4 folder again um, from one of these um, drives. And of course, as you know, my I'm my game, my Sims 4 is installed on my SSD drive. So of course, I click that. Go to Program Files x86. Go down to Origin Games. The Sims 4 game, bin, and the files that you need to delete, um, if you of course want to uninstall Reshade, are the Reshade shaders um, folder, the d3d9.dll, yeah, <laughs> um, d3d9 and also d3d9. So basically you can either delete them um, or move them to, I don't know, documents or something. It depends on if you, you know, if you don't want to keep it or if you just want to move it for now, take a little break from it or something. So there we go. So that is how you install and uninstall Reshade for The Sims 4. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope um, I was, well, I hope it was simple enough for you to be able to follow it. Um, 
well, that's what I intended it to be. Because, I mean, there are tutorials out there already, but I do think there are some people who make it a bit too overcomplicated and, like, I guess they over-explain when, you know, you, you literally just want something simple on how you install reshade if that makes sense <laughs> um so I, I do hope this tutorial was simple enough for you guys um if you ever if you have any issues or if there are any questions you would like to ask um for me to answer for you then please comment them and so please give this video a big fat thumbs up please subscribe please comment and i hope to see you again next time bye guys